Verse 12, then being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. So he goes, he goes another, another dream that God gives to somebody to make sure his plans come about, uh, you know, appropriately. So he warned them in a dream and told them, don't go back to Herod. So what they do, they, they listen to God instead of, um, instead of the man in charge, instead of the king, right? Verse 13, now when they had departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appear, appeared to Joseph in a dream saying, arise, take the young child and his mother, flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. You know, I think a lot of times we forget these stories and we forget how God was so heavily involved. Um, and, it, and I know it's the Messiah. I know it's the Lord. Uh, but, but we have to remember how when you're in God's side, when you're righteous, when you're, you're, you're under his, his protection and covenant with God. You know, when we pray prayers like Father, deliver us from evil or Father, protect us um, on our trip or protect us, protect our home. We have to remember these types of verses like God was doing everything he needed to do to make sure Joseph, Mary and Jesus were completely safe. Y'all see that? Dreams, angels, whole bunch of stuff. Right. Even when the king is the attacker, even when the king is the, um, the, the one coming against. Right. The adversary.